Some Ritz crackers, y'all. I love these. All right. Now we're gonna take some ground beef right on top. And y'all, you, you gotta plop it like that, okay? Otherwise it don't work. That's how you gotta do it. All right. Whole milk. Milk does the body good. Makes you grow big and strong. So my mama said. All right, we're gonna put some milk in here. Maybe about, about a cup or so. Yeah, that's good. That's good, that's good. All right, next. Eggs. Now we gotta put one on top of each beef square. If it falls, that's all right. We'll get it later. Oops, I already cracked that one. I wasn't even trying. <laughs> all right, perfect. All right, next here, we're gonna take a little bit of garlic, all right? So I'm just gonna get this garlic out right here. Let me get this, all right. Yeah, good, a good handful of garlic, like that much. Garlic makes everything better. It's so good, y'all, so good. All right, that's perfect. Now, we gotta use a little seasoning. It's real important. We're gonna do some salt. Just a little bit, a little bit. A little sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Sprinkle, sprinkle, just like that. Then we're gonna do some ketchup. All right. So I like this kind of, this, this, this brand is real good. It tastes different than the rest. I don't know why, but it does. Lots of ketchup. All right, then also here, we need a little bit of pepper. Pepper's real important. Sprinkle that right on top. All right, this looks real good so far, y'all. Do it. All right, we have two more ingredients here we're gonna do. So this is my secret right here, all right? We're gonna take one spoonful of brown sugar. It's my secret, all right? Don't tell anybody, it's my secret. And we're just gonna leave it right there. Actually, we're gonna take two spoonfuls, one more. It makes everything better. Brown sugar right there, all right? And then we have some green onion. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna sprinkle that like that. All right, y'all, look how good this looks. All right, last step here. We're gonna use the best kitchen utensil, utensils ever, right here, my hands. Here we go. Now, right now, I know y'all glove police out there going crazy. Why aren't you wearing gloves? Why aren't you wearing gloves? Y'all, this is the best way to do it, all right? You mix it with your hands. And you know what, if you're wearing gloves, they get holes anyways, and you got like that latex on your hands, and you got juice inside the gloves. It's just real nasty. So you know what? My hands are clean. I'm just gonna mix it this way. And that's it, I'm gonna wash my hands after, real good. Okay, y'all, so we just try to mix this all together real good, all right? It's a delicious recipe, gotta get those crackers, mix them in, just poke like this, it helps it, it helps it, it helps it real good. All right, mixy, mixy, and smash down. Yep, and you hear that noise? That's the best part. Okay, all right, I have a family gathering tonight, and my friends are coming over, my friends, my friends Cindy and Candy and Charles and Trey, they're all coming over and they're gonna have my famous meatloaf. This is what we're making right here, y'all. Delicious meatloaf, all right. So we have one more step, all right? So I already greased this pan, remember, that's real important. So last step, we're gonna take some delicious cheese squares. We're gonna put them right on top. Kobe Jack cheese, it's delicious. And you know why I also like it? Because it's different colors. I like pretty food, y'all. Pretty food, food art at its finest, right here. All right, y'all, we're putting this in the oven at 350 for about 40 minutes. I'm so excited to show y'all this delicious, delicious meatloaf. All right, y'all, look at this. I just took it out of the oven. I'm so excited. This is gonna be so good. Delicious meatloaf casserole. Remember, we put some Ritz crackers in here and a little bit of brown sugar. That's my secret ingredient, y'all. So let's, let's scoop some of this up. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so good. All right, let's see. This going to be perfect. Let's get this out, y'all. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that, it all came together. Oh my goodness, y'all, you know what? We're gonna put this right on in our bowl. And I forgot something, real important, y'all, real important. Every good meatloaf needs a ketchup, all right? That's how my mama used to make it. Just like that. Mm-mm. I'm so excited, y'all, this is gonna be so good. Y'all have to try my mama's famous meatloaf recipe. Y'all love it. Mmm.